Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a cleaning video and this is in collab with my friend Lindsay. I met her through Instagram and she has a YouTube channel which is very similar to mine so I know you guys will love it. She's also a mommy and has tons of cool videos. I'm gonna link her channel in the description box so make sure you check out her video when you're done with mine. And if you're coming from Lindsay's page, hi I'm Juliana, welcome to my page. I would love to have you. I have an 8 month old daughter and I share all types of lifestyle videos. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as you could tell, Penelope is down for a nap, so I am going to try to get as much done as I can before she wakes up. Hopefully she takes a long one. But I'm starting in our bedroom. I am just putting away a basket of clothes that's been just sitting here. Also just picking up whatever mess there is laying around. And most of the mess is on that chair. This chair is seriously not a good idea i am tempted to get it out of this room but i just love the way it looks but it just gets piled up with clothes and things every day and i have to put them away and it drives me crazy so once i'm done with the bedroom again we are moving to the living room and here i am just gonna go ahead and pick up whatever mess there is fluff my pillows organize everything um i do pick up penelope's toys now i don't do it all the time because depending on what we're doing on the day if we're just hanging at home all day i'll leave them there because there's no point of me picking up the toys and putting them out every five minutes but if we are gonna go out or i know she's not gonna be playing there for a while i'll go ahead and pick them up just because it drives me crazy to have them laying around <laughs> Moving on to the dining room, I'll start with Penelope's high chair. I'll always wash her little top um, tray of her high chair in the sink with soap and water. And then I'll use these baby Ganex wipes just to wipe down the chair and the rest of the chair. It just makes it nice and easy to wipe down after every meal. And I also give her little toys a quick wipe because she does put them in her mouth while she eats. So if I don't clean them right away, they'll just get stuck and, and nasty. <laughs> Once I'm done with her chair, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep picking up the mess laying around. I'm giving this table a quick wipe down, even though it's clean from last night's dinner, I just feel like I needed to wipe it down really quick. And I am gonna go ahead and clean the top of these windows. And I'm just cleaning the top because that's the part that tends to get the dirtiest. Penelope likes to look at the window and touch these little reeds. So there's always little fingerprints, but the bottom part doesn't really get touched at all. So I don't clean it every day like I do the top. <laughs> And now again, I am just picking up the mess that's everywhere. And sometimes I feel like just picking up the mess around your house makes you feel like it's clean enough. Like sometimes all I need to do is tidy up. <laughs> Now moving on to the kitchen, which as you could tell is a complete disaster. This is the part that probably takes me the longest because first I need to declutter and get rid of so much stuff that is laying here. And then I have to actually wipe down the counters and do dishes and do a lot of cleaning. <laughs> Once I get everything off these counters, I'm just going to go ahead and start wiping them down. I'm using my Miss Myers uh, Pine Scent Multi-Surface Cleaner. I do have a $10 off coupon in the description box. If you guys are interested in that, just check it out. And I am using my German chamois just to wipe the counters down with the spray. And I also have this chamois linked in the description box. I absolutely love these. You guys know that. I'm like obsessed. But I'm just wiping everything down. Again, the kitchen is clean but i did make breakfast and stuff for me and p so i'm just gonna go ahead and give it a quick wipe once i'm done with the counters i'm gonna go ahead and polish my appliances and i am using this pledge multi-surface cleaner and i like using this just because it's okay to use on the glass and the stainless steel i do not think is the best thing for stainless steel i feel like there's better products but I just like using it so I don't have to use two different products. Then I'm also gonna go ahead and polish my stove top and I am just using a stove top polisher. And I do like to use a paper towel for this because I feel like it gives it the best shine. I do clean my stove ahead of time with the Miss Meyer spray and my chamois, but once that's dry, I'll go ahead and polish it and it just makes it look nice and shiny as you could see. But once that's done, I'm gonna move on to the island. And again, I'm just gonna clear everything up. I'm also gonna do a few dishes that I have. I also clean my little microwave um, cover. And then once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and wipe down the counters. So 
So for my island, I'll do the same thing. I'll wipe it down with the Miss Myers multi-surface cleaner, but I also go back with a dry towel and then just dry it off. And I just feel like that gives it a nice polish or a shinier look. I don't know, but that's just what I do. I'll go with the German chamois and then I'll go with a dry towel after that. Once I'm done with the counters, I'll go ahead and wash my little chamois. The cool thing about these chamois is you could reuse them all the time. You could put them in the washer, in the dryer. They work out great. And they're also very inexpensive and they come in this big fabric. So you could just cut it the size you want it. I just love these. But I wash it off and then I hang it there. And then I just finish polishing my appliances, my dishwasher, and my fridge with the same product. Can you guys recommend other stainless steel products? products i know of one but i can't remember the name but maybe you guys know other ones so once everything is picked up and out of the way and the kitchen is clean which takes the longest i'm just gonna go ahead and start vacuuming everything by now penelope is passed out so she won't hear the vacuum at all so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum here i am not moving my couches completely out of the way i do that when i'm doing a deeper clean and i'm also not gonna dust today because I just did that a few days ago again this is more like a weekly maintenance of your house and this is what I do to keep my house organized and clean but yeah I love this attachment on my vacuum this is what I use to vacuum the tiles so if you have tiles I feel like this works much better than the regular vacuum I love this attachment for tiles I had to change my little booty slippers. I love them, but I was getting so hot. I had to pick up my hair. I feel like we have the heat on because it's a bit cold. And I was freezing when I started cleaning. And then I was just sweating. Like, you know how it is. Once you start moving, you're like taking layers off because you're so hot. <laughs> I just wanted to mention that my vacuum and these lights that I'm wearing are in the description box linked for you guys. I get tons of questions on this vacuum and these lights all the time. These lights, I have them in different colors and they're usually on sale. So make sure you check the description box for those links. Okay, so here's a random question. But how many of you, if you have a house with a garage, how many of you use the front door? Because I feel like me and Tone never ever use a front door except to get packages. Once I'm done vacuuming, I'm going to go ahead and mop. I'm using my spin mop. You guys know I love this mop. It's in the description box. Also, this Four Monks Vinegar Cleaner. And I got this at Walmart. It's great. It's already watered down vinegar, but it still smells like vinegar. So I added a few drops of orange essential oil just to give it a nice smell. And the Four Monks does have a citrus smell, a little bit of it. So with the orange, it's just so good. It smells really good and it makes you feel energized. And I just like it and these are laminate floors so using vinegar on them is perfectly fine and I like using vinegar I don't use it all the time sometimes I use my pine so I just like using vinegar because it is a green disinfectant is okay with the baby and it just really cleans your house like my mom used to clean our floors with vinegar sometimes so I do it not all the time but I do it sometimes and again on the laminate floors is fine I don't know if you have real wood floor if it's okay you might want to google that because I don't know but I love it for my towels and my laminate Okay, so I get a lot of questions about how often I mop. So I just want to talk about it really quick. I think I mop maybe once a week. Again, this cleaning that I'm showing you today is somewhat of a weekly cleaning for me. So I'll clean that one time. I'll mop that one time. Also, because Penelope is having more solids, she is dropping a lot of food on the floor. So sometimes I feel like I need to mop more often. Or again, if I am doing my zone cleaning in the living room or dining room, just like a deeper cleaning, then I'll probably mop. But that is not every week. So sometimes I won't mop in a week. But I do use my uh, Swiffer Jet a lot. Because that's more like my spot cleaner. So if I drop something when I'm cooking. Usually at night time after I am done picking up the kitchen and cleaning. I'll give it a quick clean with the Swiffer. Or I'll do it by the table where Penelope has her high chair. And that works out perfectly. So I just wanted to mention that because I do get a lot of questions about that. To be honest, I just don't feel like the whole house needs to be mopped all the time just because usually when Tone comes home, he'll put his slippers when he gets home and 
when I'm home I'm using my slippers I don't go out on them very often so I just feel like it doesn't really need to be mopped all the time I mean some places don't I feel like the kitchen you know dining room they tend to get dirtier but some other places I just don't feel like you need to mop them all the time I mean at least that's what I think <laughs> I'm just keeping it real because mopping takes a long time like who has all that time every day or every other day <laughs> here's my little pumpkin just woke up from a nap mommy almost made it she almost cleaned everything with you snapping so I'm just gonna come back in my room while the floor dries and I'm just gonna vacuum in here okay so while the floor dries I'm just back in my room and because I organized everything earlier and put everything away all I'm gonna do here is vacuum um, I do like to vacuum my room once a week and that's because my hair falls like crazy so I feel like it's all over the place plus I love vacuuming and I love seeing the lines in the rug and I feel like our room besides the kitchen and dining room and living room it's another room that it's always messy or need some decluttering or need some cleaning just because we're always in here too like Penelope's in here with us Tone's clothes my clothes I put everything in here so I just feel like that room always needs to be picked up and organized Penelope's room yes we use it she sleeps in it and we change her but we don't really hang out in there and it never really gets messy at all and then our guest room is always a mess because I just throw everything in there <laughs> I'm just kidding not really it is a mess but we don't really go in there that much so whenever I do clean it and organize it it stays like that so I don't really have to clean it on a weekly basis but that's about it guys this is all I do Penelope just hangs in the bed and watches me vacuum she likes to watch me vacuum but now I finish with lighting a nice candle I'm obsessed with this one it's a shortbread cookie candle and it smells so good and this is what my house ends up looking like so i do love this type of cleaning i feel like it keeps your house organized and clean and you're not going super hard on it so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what you think if you're coming from Len Lindsay's channel i hope you subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time bye